All right, so before I go forward with releasing a slew of training videos and kind of questions you guys asked, there is an age-old debate that has made me nuts for years. And it's the whole thing is arm wrestling strength or technique. And I've heard this answered in so many different ways, even from career long arm wrestlers. I mean, some people come up with answers that they've got equations and they divide it by how high a fucking leprechaun can jump if he was too hopped up on Lucky Charms. And I sit there and listen when a novice or somebody comes over and or a bystander at a tournament and they'll be like, so tell me the truth. It's all technique, right? And they're like, well, you know, 63 and three quarter percent is, and then you, and I sit there and I like want to die. I'm dying on the inside. <laughs> because generally the people who ask this are really struggling with the fact that for their whole life they've lived a lie, that they're like the strongest person in the world because once upon a time they beat their fucking drunk Uncle Fred in an arm wrestling match or they were the best on their Pop Warner football team when they were a kid and they they're, they can't accept the fact that a trained arm wrestler that looks like what their idea of a skinny kid is in the 150 pound class can wax them. Now is there some technique to that? Sure, we'll talk about that. But really people don't understand how strong the majority of these athletes are. And I've often said to myself, like, arm wrestling is something that people seek out. And they generally seek it out because they're probably curious about it because they've been told they're strong their whole life. Or they're probably the best guy from their frat, sports team, always been considered a strong guy. So for the most part, the people are brought to the sport is probably guys who are considered very strong in the normal world. So not like the worst guy in that room is probably a strong average guy somewhere else okay so the thing is people always want this question because they want to hear something other than what they don't want to hear which is yes it's a strength sport they want to hear like nah what, what we're doing is some like cloak and dagger david blaine like sleight of hand you have no idea what it is and somehow you're getting pinned but it's not because i'm stronger than you or that guy's stronger than you you, you definitely got blown out of the tournament by trickery okay so here's the reality of it from my stance you'll get other people will say other stuff but the truth of the matter is i equate technique in arm wrestling to car racing okay so if i got a professional driver here and a professional driver here and they're in the uh one's in a a shitbox, a Kia, something. And then this guy's in a McLaren F1. And that you set them the race. Is it really going to matter who the better driver is? No, because this car is so superior. It, he could be missing gears. He could be spinning out. It's not going to matter. There's too much car there. There's too much everything there. Which is why you'll see, even in the arm wrestling ranks too much car, i.e., I'll use John Brzezink again, because he used to be famous for just snatching up guys that were even accomplished pullers and just hammering them without very much technically going on there at all. He was just too much man. Same scenario, take the same two drivers and both put them in the Kia or both put them in the McLaren. Then it comes down to nuances of you need that technical edge. So I think it matters. The technique is using your body efficiently it's finding your lane of how to use it but then you know that becomes more and more important the little nuances when you get against people who are getting closer and closer to you in strength okay so a few examples whenever i think of something i like to push the extreme i like to look and see if my theory is valid by pushing an extreme like when i did the hair and control video i says okay let's extreme it you got fingers that can't bend they won't bend vice versa with the wrist Seems to make a lot of sense to me in theory. Now, if I had a gorilla, pet gorilla, Boo Boo the Ape, and I wanted to teach him that every time he went like this, just, just do that, a banana pops out, a, a 
peanut, whatever is, tickles his fancy. And he got to, to know that that was how he got his uh, treats and gratification. And then I bring over the most technical, God-given gifted arm wrestler in the world that understands all the angles and the vectors and the moleculars and is going to fuck with this gorilla. And I put them up in a charity arm wrestling match. And that gorilla just knows he wants his treat. Guess what? That girl is going to go like this. The strength is going to reign supreme because there's too big of a gap. Do not think that guy is going to get up there and say, well, that gorilla is not trained in technique, so I'm going to bust his fucking hand back and take him to the, to, to the house. It's not going to happen. More than likely, he's going to walk away with your arm and, and use it as a toy after he eats the banana. And then on the, you know, to support that case, I look at people, you can see it in the real world. You'll see these uh, some girls that will train with guys, you know, girls that are incredibly explosive, incredibly technical, or lightweight pullers, some of the guys that they're incredibly proficient, um, dominate their class, smoke them all out, and they look like all their technique is crisp, and it looks like they're winning by being technically perfect, okay, and they're just shredding their class, but then they'll bump up a category or two or a pull with a higher level puller or if a girl pulls with the guys to get some work in. And all of a sudden, guys are sitting there going this. No. And, and then this guy that looked so technically perfect a few minutes ago is bouncing off somebody else's arm and getting sloppy and separating and can't roll, can't move. What happened? Did your technique uh, abort mission? Did it fail you? Or same thing for the girls, same thing for anybody who's competing with somebody where the strength gap is too big. What happened to your technique? It's not that the technique didn't work, it's that your strength in applying it now needs to be at that next level or two up because it was rendered useless. So yes, there is a technique, but only really is it valid when compared to the strength of the people you're dealing with, which makes it a strength sport. Because there's technique in everything. I mean, there's technique in deadlifting. You know, deadlifting seems like the easiest thing in the world to bend over and pick up a bar. Yet, if you go online to a search of deadlift technique, you'll see that apparently 100,000 people feel the need to teach it because it's, a, it's not as simple as it looks if you're doing it efficiently with the mechanics. But that's not to say that deadlifting is a technique sport or a technique lift. There's technique in everything. I mean, I tell people all the time, we're running as little kids. Little kids, babies. You know, as soon as you can walk, you start to run. So by the time you get to college or Olympic age, you've already got, what, 20 years of running under your belt? And then you need a coach to teach you how to run more efficiently? Which they all have. Is that saying that running is a technique sport? No, you're fast, and they're just teaching you ways to dial in that other, like, percentage and, you know, of course, there's technique, but it is a strength sport. You grab some of these guys who think they're big, strong guys, and you just hold them there like this, that's really not a technique at that point. You're just so superior in strength that they cannot handle the truth. They can't handle it, that, that somebody could be that much stronger than them. And you'll hear it and say, well, well, what do you bench? There's no way you're stronger than me. Or even like the old Eddie Hall thing. People are like, well, Eddie's coming in as a stronger guy. But, you know, Rob's the better arm wrestler. As a guy who really prides himself on strength and follows it and is a fan of it, Eddie is stronger than me in the deadlift. Probably the bench press, not probably. I'm not fucking crazy. Shoulder pressing, things like that. But I would be willing to wager there's a lot of ways a body can move. A lot of ways. Some of them weird, like, like when these guys who do calisthenics and gymnastics... You know, you see a guy bust out an iron cross, that's not a technique thing. It sure as hell looks crisp and clean that way, but go do an iron cross and see if it's not strength that betrays you, okay? So, you know, you look at these guys who can do this crazy shit and calisthenics and iron crosses and all that, and then you get a guy like Eddie who deadlifts 1,100 pounds, which is, which is all great in its own right, so when you say someone's stronger, you got to say, well, what realm are we talking? 
Because if I'm stronger in all the areas that encompass arm wrestling, but then you get a guy who can bench press 600 pounds, and he might, he might that might be his game. Well, if we're talking about laying down on a bench, you can take the stronger nod. If we're talking about stepping into this realm, sorry, brother, but you done fucked up. So it's something that's always made me crazy. And I see that everybody is so happy to give the nod to technique because it's like, oh, it's just a trick I don't know. I'll I'll prescribe to the magazine. I'll 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 I'll, I'll look it up online. I'm gonna Google how to trick people. No. <laughs> I don't want to burst your bubble, your your little bro bubble you're in. It is a strength sport. And not always, but for the good majority of the time, the reason that there is levels of the sport and that people can't break through is because it's a strength barrier. There's so much information about technique out there. I go to my trainings and I see guys that are probably more technically sound in areas of the table than I am. You know, guys that pick up straps like that. I never picked up straps because I didn't have to. I just clamped people. But the thing that keeps them from beating me in the straps, even though they're technically perfect and I'm kind of a goofball in them still, is I'm just too strong. They can't leverage me. And that's why you'll see the levels. But it's a very uncomfortable situation for guys who show up at tournaments with their string back, tank tops on, thinking they're going to set the world on fire. And they got their, their entourage there and their family, and then they're shell-shocked. And then they go around, and they're looking for confirmation that, you know, what happened? Oh, it's, it's technique, and I don't have technique yet. Well, you probably do have shitty technique. I agree with that. But there is strength. <laughs> so that's something I like to rant about that, that always made me nuts. And uh, keeping it real, guys. Uh, you got to get stronger in the right ways. That's it.